Lava is moving fast toward the green the week. This is the eruption at the Sunuka crater, which we had eruption in the December 2023. As you can see, is now erupted again. The same weak point, the same cracks are now having uh, lava. Lava is moving southward. I've shown the direction. You can see the map of it. And this is the actual uh, uh, lava moving toward the town. Fortunately, we were fast enough to actually build the defensive wall. You can see the defensive wall that marked it here, and this is where the lava will stop. As the pres former president of Iceland told, book your holidays. This is the event of the year. This is the year 2024, and you can go and watch this event for yourself from a safe distance, of course, as the authorities suggest. I have a video about how this wall, wall was built. Besides 20,000 more videos that you can watch, you know you like them. Icelandic governments have approved the plans to build a protective wall around the town of the Grindavik, the town that was uh, damaged by the earthquake and the subsequent volcano put it in risk. And we know that this land around the area is actually rising. Our GPS data shows the rising of the land subsequently. And we have the earthquakes all the time happening in that area. And today, the latest uh, tremors chart shows that, again, another phase of the uplift of the magma. This blue line is a tectonic, and the purple line is a magma line. That is worrying for me when I look at it. You don't see similar trends in other places. You see that earthquakes are happening, widening up the gap, and eventually uh, opening up the way for the magma to reach the surface. Grindavik may be on the way. We have to build a wall around it. The wall will have two phases. Mainly the main one will be uh, to the north of it, which will be built in the remaining part of the 2023 and then 2024. And then in the spring, when the daylight is available, we finish the last part, which is toward the road to the town. And remember that this is the time that we have to work in the dark in the Iceland. Due to the subarctic winters, nights, and the town is actually suffering for more, from more cracks, and the people are practically are not leave, going back there in the numbers that we expected for the new year. A few families will be there, but the major work has to start before that uh, people can return to their home. When the Fegadesville volcano in 2021 erupted, it was unprecedented. We didn't know how to stop it. We managed eventually to actually contain this volcano by building walls. One person with one digger was able actually to stop it. Despite the activity, uh, we have been working day and night. And the walls stopped it in the Natai Valley, in the Galdingaldaler Valley and elsewhere. In the recent activity in the Swartzengi Blue Lagoon and Grindavik area, we had a similar situation probably uh, happening. We had a dry eruption in the Grindavik when nothing happened, but we had cracks and magma didn't erupt in the form of lava. But eventually we started to build the wall, defensive walls around the Blue Lagoon, around the Swartzengi and connecting it to the hills of uh, Thorbjorn to protect that uh, investment that we have. is a world-famous tourist attraction. And day and night we were working to protect it. And now we can confirm that the um, building of this, construction of this uh, defensive wall is finished almost. Eight meters tall it is now. It was originally designed to be three meters, but uh, using the local soil was actually a good decision. We are also expecting that the eruption be outside of this region. But if it is inside within that region, the defensive wall will just contain that within the 8 meters height. Well, in that case, all the facilities will be fossilized, be trapped inside the lava, unfortunately.